Hey guys. Welcome to our channel, Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you guys know that previously we have discussed all branches of civil engineering and today our topic is types of soil tests for building construction. So move toward the topic. First we talk about introduction. Types of soil tests for building construction works depend on properties of soil. Design of foundation is based on soil test report of construction site. Soil tests for construction of buildings or any structure is the first step in construction planning to understand the suitability of soil for proposed construction work. Soil which is responsible for allowing the stresses coming from the structure should be well tested to give excellent performance. If soil shouldn't test it correctly then the whole building or structure is damaged or collapsed or leaned like Leaning Tower of Pisa. So, soil inspection or testing is the first step to proceed any construction. Now move toward the topic types of soil tests for building construction. Various tests on soil are conducted to decide the quality of soil for building construction. Some tests are conducted in laboratory and some are in the field. Here we will discuss about the importance of various soil tests for building construction. The tests on soil are as follows. Moisture content test. Atterberg limits tests. Specific gravity of soil. Dry density of soil. Compaction test. Proctor's test. Now move toward first type of soil test, moisture content test. Moisture content or water content in soil is an important parameter for building construction. It is determined by several methods and they are. Oven drying method. Calcium carbide method torsion balance method, pycnometer method, sand bath method, radiation method, alcohol method. Of all the above oven drying method is most common and accurate method. In this method the soil sample is taken and weighed and put it in oven and dried at 110.05 C. After 24 hours soil is taken out and weighed. The difference between the two weights is noted as weight of water or moisture content in the soil. Now move toward next type. Atterberg limits tests. The Atterberg limits are a basic measure of the critical water contents of a fine-grained soil. Its shrinkage limit, plastic limit, and liquid limit. Thus, the boundary between each state can be defined based on a change in the soil's behavior. To measure the critical water content of a fine-grained soil, Atterberg provided three limits which exhibits the properties of fine-grained soil at different conditions. The limits are liquid limit, plastic limit and shrinkage limit. Now move toward next type. Specific gravity of soil. Specific gravity of soil is the ratio of the unit weight of soil solids to that of the water. It is determined by many methods and they are. Density bottle method. Pycnometer method. Gas jar method. Shrinkage limit method. Measuring flask method. Density bottle method and pycnometer method are simple and common methods. In pycnometer method, pycnometer is weighed in four different cases that is empty weight, M1, empty plus dry soil, M2, empty plus water plus dry soil, M3, and pycnometer filled with water, M4, at room temperature. From these four masses specific gravity is determined by below formula. Now move toward next type. Dry density of soil. The weight of soil particles in a given volume of sample is termed as dry density of soil. Dry density of soil depends upon void ratio and specific gravity of soil. Based on values of dry density soil is classified into dense, medium dense and loose categories. Dry density of soil is calculated by core cutter method, sand replacement method and water displacement method. Now move toward next type. Compaction test, Proctor's test. The Proctor compaction test is a laboratory method of experimentally determining the optimal moisture content at which a given soil type will become most dense and achieve its maximum dry density. The test is named in honor of Ralph Roscoe Proctor, who in 1933 showed that the dry density of a soil for a given compactive effort depends on the amount of water the soil contains during soil compaction. His original test is most commonly referred to as the standard Proctor compaction test. His test was later updated to create the modified Proctor compaction test. If you guys like our today's video, like, comment and share our video. And subscribe our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Bye.